Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Start with Perfume Reviews. So today I'm doing a dedication video and this video is a dedication to the Fragrant Holic. Um, as many of you guys know, um, he is a very, very popular fragrance reviewer on YouTube. Um, he was reviewed a lot of perfumes before I came on to the, like, the scene or whatever. And he has, kind of, from what I know, has had a lot of stuff going on. So he's been kind of taking a break from YouTube, but it does appear that as of today he might be coming back. We'll see what happens from there. Um, but I wanted to make this video kind of as a little bit of a history sort of thing for me with YouTube and whatnot. So, as many of you guys know, my very first perfume I ever collected, the very first perfume I ever got, was um, Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck. And the reason I got that fragrance was I was on the fence about collecting the Taylor Swift fragrances um, before I was even into perfume, anything like that. I was kind of on the fence whether or not to get them because I wasn't sure if it was something I really wanted to add to my collection. And this was all about the same time that Wonderstruck first came out. And, um, Fragenholic, Greg, um, he did a review on Wonderstruck and instantly blew me away. I knew I had to go smell that fragrance. I had to have it. I went and got it, and his review was spot on. And when I first got that fragrance, I realized that I didn't really realize that perfume reviews, fragrance reviews were a thing. Um, I was still very new into the fragrance market. I knew that there was a lot of celebrity perfumes out there, but I wasn't really sure what they were, so on and so forth. I didn't really dive myself in too deep into it. But once I got one to Shuck and his review was spot on, I decided to go through his channel a little bit more and realize how many different uh, celebrities actually have fragrances and how different each one was from each other and how some were similar, but that there was so much involved in every single fragrance and... I instantly wanted to start collecting and instantly had a wish list of Lady Gaga and um, Nicki Minaj's and so on and so forth and I just, my initial thing was going through his reviews, I was going to collect the ones that out of his reviews I felt were the best suited to me. And initially it was going to be just a very, very small collection in my bathroom that obviously it blew up to this. But that is thanks so, so much to um, Greg. He is a complete inspiration. He is the exact reason why I started doing YouTube, the exact reason why I started collecting. Um, I collected for a while before I started actually reviewing perfume. And I had attempted to start doing perfume reviews well before I even actually did start doing them. I was going to start calling them the bottom of the bottle reviews. And... I just didn't really like that name, plus I couldn't really get the guts up to do YouTube. I couldn't get over the fact of myself just sitting here talking to a camera. But after a little while I was able to get over that and obviously I've been here for almost two years now. But it's definitely something that takes a lot to do and I'm very glad I decided to start doing it. But Greg is the reason I collected perfumes. He was the reason that I started doing YouTube. He's the reason that my collection is displayed the way it is. Watching his collection videos, I loved how he had each individual, almost every single fragrance person that he had collected had their own individual shelf. It wasn't just kind of a cluster of all these different fragrances. Everything was very prettily displayed and very beautiful. And I loved how he did that. And it inspired me to do it this way. Obviously, I've blown this up way, way, way more than I ever thought it was going to be, you know, a while ago when I first started collecting fragrances. But I definitely want to tell you guys that if it was not for Greg the Fragranholic, I would not be here today. I would not be doing YouTube reviews. I probably wouldn't even have this collection. I know some of you guys, you know have your guys' favorites, you guys have your, you know, your favorite people who you watch, and the Fragrant Holic is my original YouTuber. He is the reason I started watching YouTube. He is the everything to my collection. Um, if you guys ever have those, like, 
I know sometimes when I follow you guys on Twitter or talk to you guys on Twitter or Instagram, whatever, you guys freak out when I follow you or when I talk to you guys. What you guys don't realize is that is me with Greg. He is kind of my idol, idol when it comes to fragrances. He... A lot of his reviews, a lot of his stuff, I believe to be spot on. He's extremely well educated on everything he does. If you guys have not watched his channel, I will link it in the description below because he it sets a bar higher than mine than I could ever reach on YouTube. It's, his fragrances are bar none, could not be compared to anyone else's. His are so spot on and detailed and gives you so much information on the fragrance and the collection of it and why it was done what and you know the shapes of the bottles and stuff that I wish I could do on every single one of my videos and but he's so knowledgeable about everything that he talks about and does on his videos that is just amazing and I want you guys to go watch his channel I know that from what it appears as he posted a video earlier today that he will be coming back and will be doing more videos and I want you guys to go start watching his videos if you haven't already I know a lot of you guys have talked to me and asked me about where he's been, and honestly, I don't even know. I've never, only time I've ever really talked to him is I direct messaged him once on Twitter, and I also uh, direct tweeted him and he tweeted me back. So that was kind of the highlight of my day, highlight of my life when he did that. It just kind of blew me away, knowing that he saw my tweet and whatnot. So thanks so, so much, you guys, for sticking with me as long as you guys have. And I, like I said, I'm, you know, I don't plan on any time leaving YouTube. This is something I do plan on doing for quite a while. But I want you guys to know that if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be doing fragrance reviews and I wouldn't be doing fragrances. So, although I know a lot about fragrances and although I do, you know, I have the knowledge that I have and it's built myself so far up with the knowledge I have. The knowledge I have is nothing compared to what he has, and I will never expect myself to be anything like him. He's a goal of mine to reach one day to be that knowledgeable and that amazing when it comes to fragrances, but I feel like I have a lot to learn and a lot to grow before I get there. So, as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A.S. Perfume, and Instagram, on Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. Also, please, 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 please check out his channel. His link is in the description below as well. So thanks guys so, so much for watching. Bye.